Another adjustment in the pronation protocol is the talus. I usually do this following the metatarsal heads. At full plantar flexion or mid stance where the greatest distortion in the pronated foot occurs, surprisingly, the talus is actually anterior and lateral. So here's the adjustment for an anterior lateral talus. Again, at mid stance, the talus is anterior and lateral. So for this adjustment, like the metatarsal head adjustment, the flat thumb pads contact the second, third, and fourth met heads on the plantar surface. Next, we're gonna take the little fingers and contact the contact point. The contact point is a V-shaped area here called the Taylor cuboid junction. The way this V-shape is found is to go to the tip of the fibula and depending on the size of the foot, you're gonna go two thirds to three quarters of an inch anterior and the same distance superior and you'll feel a little V-shaped cleft. That is the contact point for the little fingers or if you prefer, the ring fingers. So thumb pads on the second, third and fourth met heads. Little fingers overlap the Taylor cuboid junction or sulcus now. Tension is a combination of two things. First, inferior traction, and then slight dorsiflexion. Slight meaning when the foot stops at its end range of dorsiflexion, you stop. If you go past that, you'll jam it. Thumb pads on the mat heads, little fingers on the junction, traction, dorsiflex, and the thrust is described more as a scooping motion that's mostly A to P, but slightly lateral to medial. You many times will get a crisp audible release if you pull quickly, but not necessarily forcefully. So thumb pads, little fingers, traction, dorsiflex, scoop.